Welcome students in a series of decimals. Today's topic is addition and subtraction of decimals. Addition and subtraction of decimals. Let us do addition first. Here is your question. 83.237, 12.125, 37.25, 52.675. What you need to do, decimals need to be right according to their places. And the decimal addition is just like addition of whole numbers. So it is very simple. What we will do first, we will write this first decimal number 83.237. And we know that this 3 is at 1's place, 8 is at 10's place because these are whole number parts. It is decimal point and 10th place, 100th place, 1000th place. All of these numbers are of decimal part. So we will write accordingly for each and every decimal number. Whole number parts should be according to their places, 1's, 10's, 100 under the whole number part, then decimal point, then decimal parts should be under the decimal part, 10th, 100th and 1000th places. So we will write this second decimal number 12.125 then 37.489 52.675 Now we need to add them so we will write sign of addition. Now we will add 7 plus 5, 12, 12 plus 9, 21, 21 plus 5, 26. So we will write 6 here and 2 as carry. Then we will add 2 plus 3, 5, 5 plus 2, 7, 7 plus 8, 15, 15 plus 7, 22. So we will write 2 here and 2 carry. Now, 2 plus 2, 4, 4 plus 1, 5, 5 plus 4, 9, 9 plus 6, 15. We will write 5 here and 1 carry here. And we will write this decimal point first like this. Now, we will add this place. 1 plus 3, 4, 4 plus 2, 6, 6 plus 7, 13, 13 plus 2, 15, we will write 5 here and 1 as carry. 1 plus 8, 9. 9 plus 1, 10. 10 plus 3, 13. 13 plus 5, 18. We will write 8 here and 1 as carry. And because there is no uh, number at this place, so we will just write this 1 here like this. So our answer is... 185.526 it is very simple to do now let us do one more question of addition it is your question 6.9 34.05 9.468 at first we will uh, make like decimals because here is one decimal place here is two here is three decimal place so let us make all three decimal place. So like this 6.900 for this decimal 34.050 and it is 9.468. Now we will add them in a column form like this. We will write 6.900 and we know that 4 is at once place. So we will write it under 6 here 4 and here 3. So 34.00 zero net 9.468 we will write like this 9.468 now we need to add so we will put the sign of addition and we will add 0 plus 0 plus 8 equals to 8 0 plus 5 equals to 5 5 plus 6 equals to 11 1 will be here and 1 as carry 9 plus 1 10 10 plus 0 10 10 plus 4 14, we will write 4 here and 1 as carry and we will write this decimal first. Then we will do this addition 6 plus 1, 7, 7 plus 4, 11, 11 plus 9, 20. We will write 0 here and 2 as carry. Then we will add 2 and 3 and what is it is? 5. 
So your answer is 50.418. Very simple. Now we will do subtraction. It is also very easy, just like a subtraction of whole number. So here is your question 312.8 minus 59.98. At first we will make like decimals. How? 312.80 minus 59.98. Now there are two decimal places in both the numbers. Now we will write them in a column form like this 312. 0.80 and we will write this number how because this 9 is advanced place 5 is at tens place so remember to write in a proper way we will write 9 here and 5 under tens place so 59.98 now what we need to do we need to do subtract so we will put the sign of subtraction and we will do subtraction so how we can do subtraction you know this that here is 0 and we know that 0 and 8 what we need to do we need to take borrow from here so like this it will be 7 and here 10 so 10 minus 8 2 because here is 7 and 7 is less than 9 so what we will Two, we will take borrow from here it will be 1 and it will be 17 so 17 minus 9 will be 8 we will write decimal point as it is now here is 1 1 is less than 9 so what we will do we will take borrow from this 1 and it will be 0 and here it will be 11. Now we will do subtraction 11 minus 9, 2. And here because here is 0, so we will take borrow from this side. It will be 2 and it will be 10. Now we will do subtraction 10 minus 5, 5. And here is 2, so we will write this. So it is your subtraction and your answer is 252.82 very simple it is let us do one more question of subtraction 160 minus 39.284 here is only whole number no decimal parts so we need to make like decimals how we will put zero here 160.000 minus 39.284 now they are like decimals three decimal places in each number now we can easily subtract we will write both the numbers in a column form 160.000 another number is 39.284 done now we will do subtraction but how because zero is less than four so what we need to do we need to take borrow but from where yes from 6 so this 6 will be 5 and this will be 10 now we will take borrow from here it will be 9 and it will be 10 now now we will take borrow from here it will be 9 and it will be 10 now we will take borrow from here it will be 9 and it will be 10. Now we can easily subtract. So let us subtract now because it is very easy now. 10 minus 4, 6. 9 minus 8, 1. 9 minus 2, 7. 9 minus 9. But before this, we will put this decimal. Then 9 minus 9, 0. 5 minus 3, 2. And 1 as it is so it is one so what is your answer what is the difference 120.716 let us do one word problem 
A tailor needs 52.18 cm white lace for a charge skirt and 75.85 cm of the same lace for the top. It means what is given here, lace for a skirt equal to 52.18 cm and lace for top equal to 75.85 cm. Now we need to find out how much lace does he need in all means total lace. It is a question of addition. 52.18 cm plus 75.85 cm. But what we need to do first, we need to write in a column form like this. 52.18 then 75.85. Now we will add. So we will write sign of addition. So 8 plus 5 equals to 13. We will write 3 here and 1 carry. 1 plus 1, 2. 2 plus 8. 10 we will write 0 here and 1 carry but before it we will write this decimal point then we will add 2 plus 1 equals to 3 3 plus 5 equals to 8 then 5 plus 7 equals to 12 we will write 2 here and 1 carry and 1 as it is so now here 128.03 it means he needs 128.03 centimeter lace in all now let us do one more word problem. A roll of fabric has 85.63 meter on it. If 43.76 meter are sold, how much is left? So what is given to you? Total length of a fabric which is 85.63 meter. Then length of fabric sold equals to 43.76 meter. And you did need to find out length of fabric left means it is a question of subtraction. We need to subtract because here is a keyword left. How much is left? So, what we need to do, we will write in a column form and subtract it. So, like this 85.63 and second decimal number is 43.76. Now, we need to subtract it. So, how we will subtract it? It is very easy. Just see. 3 is less than 6, so we will take borrow from here. It will be 5 and it will be now 13. Now we can easily subtract 13 minus 6 equals to 7. Now 5 is less than 7, so we will take borrow from this side. Like this, it will be 4 and it will be 15. Now we can easily subtract 15 minus 7 equals to 8 and there is a decimal point here. Now 4 minus 3 which is equals to 1 and 8 minus 4 is equals to 4. So 41.87 meter fabric is left. Very easy. So my dear students, if you will face any problem in mathematics, what you need to do? You need to just do Practice and you can solve any problem. Goodbye.